Good morning to you. Four consecutive years in the playoffs for these guys, the Cincinnati Bengals. They'll go for a fifth this season. Cincy now in training camp. They'd like to go a little deeper, though, in the playoffs. They've been one and done the last four postseasons. The guys on this year's team feel it's time to make something happen when it counts most, and that falls on Andy Dalton's shoulders first. I think uh, it's the quarterback's responsibility, and you know I've been here long enough, and so uh, you know I do feel like it's my team, and I'm trying to push everybody, not just the offensive guys, but this whole team. Who knows how long this this group can you know stick together or um, we'll stay together, so to say, as an organization. So um, the time is now, just in general. The time is now. I'm, I'm not giving any predictions, things like that, but it's now. It's no, it's not next year. It's not the year after. It's now. We have the guys to do it. How do you follow a season that was arguably the greatest senior program's history? That is what head coach Scotty McCoy in McGonathan County must do in 2015. The Hornets are next up in our DQ Grill and Chill 40 teams in 20 days. Josh McKinney with the Pigskin Preview. A 7-5 record, the program's first ever district championship and the program's first ever playoff win. We're building a program now. We're actually got a tradition going. Unfortunately for the McGoffin County Hornets, that was last season. You know, we're going to be young, we're going to be inexperienced, and I just hope that, you know, we can build off of uh, what we built from last two years, three years, uh, even up to when Dad was here uh, nine years ago. We just want to build off all that. This season, head coach Scotty McCoy will have some decisions to make on both sides of the ball. And we're, we're still in the depth chart. It's, it's, it's like UK's depth chart when it says this name or this name. And, that, and that's what we're at right now. I, I've got to find that quarterback who's going to lead this team. And uh, uh, it, it's exciting to watch them battle. Offensively, replace a do-everything quarterback. And defensively, a big hole to fill with leading tackler Josh Poe having graduated. We, I think all together, out of all the 11 seniors, we probably lost at least two-thirds of our tackles. From, la from last year's team. So it's a growing process. They're going to be growing pains. I've yelled more this season than I've ever yelled, but I, but I enjoy that. I enjoy that. Now I've got to coach a little bit, and that, that's why I get paid. And uh, this year we got a lot more speed, so it's going to try to help make up for the, the big guys we, we lost last year. So I think we'll be okay. But despite the youth and inexperience, the team chemistry is already becoming a positive factor. Really just the intensity and the closeness of us all. I know we got a, a younger team, but we're all, you know, getting really close as a family like we was last year. As the Hornets hope last year repeats itself in 2015. Full screen time. The Clay County Junior League softball team completed its second game at the World Series in Kirkland, Washington yesterday. Falling to Florida 12 to 2 in six innings. Brianna Owens finished two for three at the plate with a run scored and an RBI. She also pitched five and two thirds innings, striking out four batters. Clay County will now play at 8 p.m. Eastern tonight against the host league for the World Series Bellevue out of Washington. That's a final look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning.